Hello students, welcome to the session. So in the previous classes and previous module, so we learned about uh, the module one. So what is the transistor works, how transistor works and uh, how a transistor is fabricated using uh, different technologies. So NMOS transistor fabrication, PMOS, NWELL, PWELL, so and on. So here, so the next stage, so we need to study here for the concept of stick diagrams and layout. So in the previous sessions, I have seen or gone through all the videos. So where the video shows you uh, the three-dimensional view of the actual transistor which goes into silicon, right? So you have seen the different layers. So in most layer, that is something about your uh, substrate layers and the polysilicon layer, silicon dioxide uh, and the metal, different metal layers. So what you see here is, so whatever the circuit you design on the book, right? I wrote a five step circuit diagram or you write in terms of very long code. So finally it is going to uh, uh, transfer into a silicon form, right? In terms of silicon it is going to, uh, transistor is going to build. So in this case, so how do we transform your <coughs> actual uh, circuits onto the silicon? So that's a different process, there are different stages there. So here when you go for it, so in the view of the top view, so how the wafers, you are going to see silicon, right? So you are going to see the different layers. So your transistor is going to be a different, different view, right? So here, so your circuit, in this module you are going to learn uh, how this, what do you mean by layout, what actually the layout means, how do you differentiate between different layers, how do you uh, present those layers, some different lambda rules, uh, design rules and uh, come across something like stick diagrams. So today we will try to go for the concept of stick diagrams. Okay. So the objectives are, so you are going to understand what is stick diagram and uh, so you are going to understand what are the capabilities of stick diagram and what are the limitations of stick diagrams. And you will try to understand how to draw stick diagrams for given mass circuits. Okay, and at the end of this module, you're going to understand and you're able to write a uh, stick diagram for some simple MOS circuits. That's possible for you. Okay, so this is your transistor. So this transistor is actually, uh, you can actually depict that one in terms of layout level. So it will be something like this. So first thing is you're going to, this will be your rectangular box. So you can call it as a substrate. So it's uh, coded in green color. So there'll be color coding we'll be discussing later part. And whenever you indicate a rectangular box of the substrate, we are showing this n plus and n plus, and uh, that represents the source and source and drain regions. Okay, from the top view we can see like that. And uh, this symbol, touch symbol we have on the gate terminal here. How do you represent a gate terminal? So in terms of layout, we can go for it. So perpendicularly, you are actually drawing a rectangular square box, rectangular box. So it's called in red color. So there <clears throat> we can call it a polysilicon. So whenever this substrate is crossed by polysilicon perpendicularly, so this is actually we can call as a transistor. Okay, this can call the top view or bird's eye view for the top level. Okay, so if you just go for transitional view, you will see in a different way, right? That you actually uh, either drawn in uh, <clears throat> in your uh, the first model, right? So if you just see the uh, <clears throat> whatever the transitional view, we can go to see like this, right? So this will be like this. So this will be our source and this will be our drain regions. So we'll be having polysilicon here and uh, this will be a silicon dioxide, right? So this will be your N plus and this will be your N plus. Okay. So here, so if you see the same structure from the top view, it will look like this. Okay. It's going to look like this, right? So here you can see it is not going to, you are not going to be able to see this silicon dioxide layer because it will be covered by polysilicon. It will be just below this particular polysilicon layer. Right. So this is how you represent uh, <clears throat> uh, your transistor here. Okay. So let's the thing. And the next step, you can see here, uh, this is a CMOS inverter. So this will be transformed into a symbolic layout. previous slide I show how do you uh, map your transistor in terms of 
layout part. So similarly, so you can see here, so we have a PMOS transistor here, MOS transistor, how do you represent that one? How do you represent this one in terms of layout level? So it is a symbolic layout, the actual layout looks quite different that you are going to see in the next upcoming slides. You can call it a symbolic layout. So here you can see this orange color, what you are seeing here is this orange color background. So this is your substrate material, P substrate. And on P substrate, what kind layer drawing the polysilicon. Yeah, this polysilicon layer and substrate together forms a transistor. And in this case, it's a P substrate, that means it's a PMOS transistor. So here you are having a boundary here, that is the dotted lines you are going to see here. So this dotted line, we are called as a well boundary. Okay, that's your N well. Okay, that's the N well boundary. So similarly for P N MOS transistor, you are actually drawing uh, one uh, green color. It is depicted here. So this is your uh, N substrate, and on top of it, you are actually uh, perpendicular drawing the polysilicon. So this is one transistor here representation. This is another transistor. So two transistors are ready now, and these two transistor, you have to interconnect them in this way, this fashion, right? So where your gate of the NMOS and PMOS are shorted together, right? So this is what we are going to see here, okay? And uh, so this one, your PMOS transistor is actually connected. This one, this is a source terminal. So this will be drained. This will be again drain and this will be source. So this source of the PMOS is connected to VDD. So this VDD usually, VDD and ground usually will be a metal layer. Usually means always it will be a metal layer. Okay, so that's why it's uh, indicated here in blue color. So this blue indi blue color indicates your metal layer. So here, you can see there's a connection here shown here. So this is substrate and you're overlapping with your this uh, metal layer here uh, to VDD. And you can see the X mark here. So this X mark indicates there is a contact between this metal layer and this substrate layer. This orange color and this blue color is a connection. Okay. And uh, similarly, you have connection from this terminal, another particular uh, terminal here. This is a drain terminal, you can say. And this is connected here. And this is an output. So similarly, so here for the MOS drain terminal, again, it's connected here. Its contact is indicated. Uh, similarly, for source of the MOS, it is also connected to the ground here. So you can observe here uh, for all these connections, this one, this one, this one, and this one, the contact is shown. And uh, while drawing the connections of these two, this gate of this PMOS and gate of the NMOS, you can see there is no indication of any contact. So this is because uh, since your polysilicon is connected to the polysilicon of this NMOS, PMOS polysilicon and NMOS polysilicon are shorted using polysilicon layer itself. Since both are in the same layer, or same level, there is both same layer, right? Common layer. So when they reach or touches each other, that means there is a electrical contact already, and uh, there is no need of indicating any contact because both are in same level. Okay, so say ground floor, ground floor. Okay. So but in this case, you see here. So this is substrate layer. It is a different layer, and your metal layer is a higher level layer. So it is something like the ground floor. It will be something like a second floor, so or first floor, something like that. You need to. Uh, from the top view, we will see it is going to be touched by each other, but actually it is not connected. So when you see uh, vertically, vertical cross section of this one, uh, that case it is not connected. You, you can actually imagine this what I have shown in the video of your uh, fabrication videos. You already imagine that uh, different layers, how in 3D view it is going to look like. So whenever there is a different layers are there, so to show them the contact, you need to indicate the contact here either by x indication or some dot indication right so this is your symbolic layout this is actually is going to give you some actual layout so in this case so since we are having only two transistors here so we can easily map that into a symbolic layout or an actual layout but so when you have the more number of transistors so in that case it is very difficult to map this circuit on to your uh, layout part because your layout is the actual thing which you're going to fabricate use for fabrication okay so in this case so we have the intermediate stage is going to help you that it, uh, itself is your stick diagram so you can say this is your actual layout means so then we will we'll draw the stick diagram first and the stick diagram will give you idea how to draw the layout 
where exactly this component should go this n mass where should go n p mass where should go okay so where this transition should be present if the uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, transistors uh, relative placements so can be recognized by the stick diagram okay and uh, rotating information so this kind of things will be helpful the stick diagram you can finally say it's something like a, a stick diagram is a, a cartoon sketch of this particular layout okay so the stick diagram looks like this okay so this is how the stick diagram looks like you can see the almost similarity between this one and this one so only difference is this is all something like rectangular square boxes right the same thing is something like a stick here so this is the p substrate this p substrate is shown like this this stick here and perpendicularly you are going to another draw the stick this is another stick here and similarly here n mos or n substrate and polysilicon and all the interconnect here is similar to this and they are showing the contact like this okay right and you can see uh, this other layer here something like a dotted line is presented here so this we call as a demarcation line so just to indicate this particular part so the boundary part okay well boundary part so in this stick diagram so we will have a demarcation line so this actually a vd line and this will be your ground line so in this case all the pmos transistors should be present above this demarcation line okay above this demarcation line all the nmos transistors will come below this demarcation line okay and there is another thing here so one thing is uh, so the only two layers can cross this demarcation line it's something like a boundary here okay so this boundary can be crossed only by polysilicon layer and metal layer so only metal and polysilicon can cross this demarcation line okay right so the same thing is presented here so stick diagrams means the capturing of topography and layer information using simple diagrams and this stick diagram convey layer information through color codes yeah, i used the color code there or you can just go for monochrome encoding also and this is actually a as interface between symbolic circuit and the actual layout. So this is the thing. And what the uh, stick diagram shows. So stick diagram shows all the components and wires. It shows the relative placements. Okay, not exact placement, but only relative placement will be shown. And it is going to uh, go so one step closer to the layout. Okay, so it's easy to draw the layout. Almost near to the layout is going to show you. So you can just finally draw the layout. And it's going to help the plan, help to plan the layout and routing information okay so i already said this is a something like a cartoon sketch of a layout so what it doesn't show is so it doesn't show the exact placement of any components it just show the relative placement it doesn't indicate any transistor sizes because there will be different wpl ratios okay if you go for nmos inverter only nmos inverter so you have a depletion mode transistor in the as a pull-up device and uh, uh, normal nmos device is a uh, enhancement as a pull down device in that case you can see the pull up device the ratio will be 4 times 4 is to 1 ratio will be there so those type of sizes will not be shown in the stick diagram and your wire lengths or wire weights top boundaries will not be indicated it doesn't show in stick diagrams and any other lower level details such as parasitics we call them come across parasitic later so we'll have a parasitic capacitances and we'll have uh, parasitic resistances this is the rotation you can find. So, as I said before, this is a metal layer. This metal layer is shown by the normal stick like. And in this case, you are going to indicate blue, indicates the metal layer. And uh, poly by red color, a diffusion by green, p diffusion by orange color. So, this is the encoding you can see. So, this is your stick encoding. You are drawing a stick twice. Okay. So, this when you are transforming into the mask encoding part. So, you just Make sure it's a rectangular box and uh, draw in a different stripes. Okay, this is your thin ox stripes or polysilicon, whatever it is, the thin oxide, and this is your polysilicon you're going to draw like this, and your metal layer you're going to draw vertically. Okay, so like this stripe, like this contacts will be taken like this. So all these things are like so you can see the contact and current contact both are shown in a dot representation here. Okay, but when you come for the layout. So the indication is much different. Okay, right. So this is the thing. 
and the same thing is shown in the color so this you can see in your uh, textbook it's taken from textbook itself Pucknell textbook okay right so similarly for PMOS process the encoding is much similar only thing is you can find uh, the well region indication that is the mask encoding that is PPS mask okay and you can see the demarcation line anything but uh, something like top boundary or well boundary as said before and VDR contact you are going to show in, the, in this fashion okay so this is how you indicate the via so we will discuss this via later part okay in detail okay there are some rules I already discussed these rules in the previous uh, slides so just to go uh, in brief here now so when two or more sticks of same type cross or touch each other that represent electrical contact so since they are both are the same layers are there that means even they touch each other or cross over so that means there is a contact already there so in order to indicate any uh, contact okay show the contact there so but when you have the different types there so different so one is a polysilicon layer another is metal layer so both are different layers in this case so if you want to show the connection you need to indicate this contact okay you have to show the contact here there is a contact okay otherwise we will assume that there is no connection here okay once you show the contact then only the contact is established and when polysilicon crosses the diffusion it represents transistor this is the first slide i have shown you so whenever the diffusion is there and it is perpendicularly crossed by uh, polysilicon that means a transistor is formed okay so if this is the polysilicon this is a diffusion so this will acting as a gate and this will act as a one region this will act as another region say source and drain or drain or source so since it is both interchangeable in this case so next so if you want to show the contact so you will come across this type of things also i will show you uh, this details where you can find this in the later part so if there is a contact shown between your policy silicon and your substrate that means it is not a transistor okay it is something like okay so this is one thing we will come across in the butting and uh, buried contact so this type of uh, stuff so we'll discuss later so you can just remember so whenever a policy silicon is crossed by diffusion a transistor will be formed and if there is any contact shown that means it is not a transistor and this one is a demarcation line as soon so this is PMOS all PMOS device should come above the demarcation line and all NMOS device will come below the demarcation line and only metal line uh, polysilicon is going to cross the demarcation line for any interconnection purpose right so how to draw stick diagrams so this will try to cover in the up next videos so, thank you.